Hi guys, Tichuba Treasures here. Thought I would go live. And I have a jewelry haul that I wanted to sell today, show you guys some new things. But I found this beautiful, beautiful uh, brooch and earring set vintage with AB rhinestones and most likely Austrian crystals. These little round balls are glass too. But just an amazing, beautiful set. All our prong set except these round guys here. But very beautiful, well made. Let me show you the back. Some awesome, awesome earrings. And the brooch is just beautiful too. Let me show it to you. And I'll just showcase these for a few minutes. So we get a few more people in the chat, but welcome. Hi guys, thank you for stopping by. I'm just hooking up the ethernet because I'm, I don't have a lot of strong connection here. Um, as you know, I'm up in the mountains, but um, my son's hooking up that ethernet just to give it that extra. Last time I did a sale, I was really excited. I had good internet connection and everything. And sure enough, the it got so hot here that the uh, internet blew out or something. I don't know, the tower, there was issue with the towers. Different towns went without internet and everybody was panicked. But yeah, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. Um, I have a new jewelry haul. As you know, my name is Laura Tichuba Treasures. And, um, I do, I try to get online at least once to twice per week. And um, this week I've went to a an estate sale. I found some really gorgeous items. And uh, yeah, it'll give me a chance to show you guys.
But yeah, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate that. Hi, Book Bewitched. How are you today? Just checking the quality of my picture here. Welcome. My name is Laura. Tituba Treasures. I am a reseller. It's a pleasure to meet you. What What's your name, Book Bewitched? Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I have better internet connection now. My hu my husband, my son just hooked up the ethernet and it seems the stream is a little bit stronger. I hope the picture is okay. Is the lighting okay, you guys? Just let me know in the chat if you would. Uh, like I said, I'm a reseller. I usually come on at least, I try to get on at least once per week. And I go sourcing in the community and anywhere from garage sales to estate sales. Hi, I'm Book Bewitch, or you can call me Book. Okay. Okay, Book. And so, um, yeah, that's how, that's how I do my sourcing, usually uh, in the community. And then sometimes I go further out into sometimes different states, but mostly here in California. And what else can I explain to you? Um, I hope you enjoy the items that I show you today. These particular items I'm going to show you are new, what I found this week. Wait a minute. You sell from your halls? Yes, I do. I sell from my halls. And um, I sell everywhere in the world. So, I mean, from Singapore to uh, Canada, Australia. What state are you in? What country are you in, Book Bewitched? I'm in the U.S. in California. What country are you in? All right. Washington State. Okay. Nice. Well, welcome. My name is Laura. And what I do is re resell on my channel. Um, I hope you enjoy the things that you see. Um, usually, if you want to purchase from me, you'll have to let me put a banner across the bottom so that you can get all my information there at lmcginn.mcginn at gmail.com. And you should send me your YouTube name, your real name, and your PayPal address if you would like to buy from me. Um, 
today, anybody that buy, I'll be having two giveaways. No, the number one giveaway is no purchase necessary. And I'll be drawing numbers between one and 50, most likely. And whoever comes closest to that number will win a prize that's not sponsored by YouTube, but sponsored by Tichuba Treasures. And the second prize given away will be at the very end of my auction. And everybody that purchases anything from me, the name will go inside of this pot here. And it will be drawn at the end of the auction. So let's go on to this beautiful set that I have for sale here. It's a beautiful deep red, most likely Austrian crystal. It is a vintage pair of earrings. Okay, they're clip-ons. You'll have to get the, um, they sell the stopper deal, this type of deal for um, clip-ons here. But just an amazing, when I clean these up, the, I mean, it wasn't as sparkly. But just some beautiful, beautiful prong set earrings. Vintage, of course, with AB stone. And this gorgeous brooch here. I just, I love this triangular look here on the red stone here. All prong set too. And the back side of it. Very gorgeous piece. And today I'll be selling this one for $45. Beautiful vintage. Gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. And I'll let you guys take a closer look up at that. And maybe I can lighten up the picture. So, comments, uh, your vintage pieces. I take a silk brush. They usually, uh, um, you can buy them at the 98 cent store, but it's a very, very soft, um, soft little brush. Almost like a toothbrush, but not really a toothbrush. And it has silk bristles on it. And I just dip it in warm water and add a little bit of um, mild soap. And I just clean it that way. And afterwards, I have a compressor that I blow out any gunk that's left on it. But these came out very beautiful. Very gorgeous. Hi, Nicola. How you doing? How are you? I found another couple sets here. Um, this one is a smaller brooch. And it's gorgeous. Is the picture okay? And thank you for stopping by. I appreciate that, you guys. I appreciate anybody stopping by. I mean, it's a decent size. You can see it's about three inches long. It fits kind of in the palm of my hand. So you can just imagine the size. But yeah, this this girl cleaned up really nice. She did. And I never seen it with the triangular and prong set. I never seen it like that. I've always seen, you know, just the round or even a teardrop. But as far as a triangular deal though yes and this set will go for 45 i mean i could do 40 on it but it's gorgeous even these round are are glass they they're probably an austrian crystal most likely but yeah these came out really really beautiful all right, I think we have a sold to Miss Nicola for $40. Thank you, Miss Nicola. 
Nicola, I love your taste and I am just um so happy that you could stop by and just snatch up these beauties. <laughs> Because I, I I really I know I know what you like. I, I hope everybody else likes it too. But I think you're you've caught on to what my what how my eye is anyways. Let me grab a pen and paper. And let's see. Okay, where's my little pen and paper? Yeah, I yeah, thank you so much. And you know what? Um I really took your advice and sometimes I overthink things um and I really took your advice and just do do me be me as me. Your Oh, thank you so much, Nicola. I do appreciate that. Oh, let me turn around this way. I do appreciate that. I really do. Let me put it in a separate baggie because oh, let me get some more baggies here. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here's one. <clears throat> I appreciate that. I really do. And it has some tight, you know, backs on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I appreciate that. All righty, guys. Sold to Nicola. And I need to put your name in the grand prize pot here. Yeah, there was a huge estate sale that um i went to and i had some really really i know the young lady that hosts the, all the this particular thank you nicole i appreciate that and let me put your name in for the grand prize drawing all right I feel like just won the lottery i love it so much <laughs> <laughs> you did whenever you're on my channel you can easily hit the lottery let me tell you <laughs> okay miss nicola thank you so much miss nicola 40 for the brooch set and let me put your name in for the drawing thank you you're welcome honey you're welcome you just might very well hit the lottery when you're on laura's channel let me tell you because I, I give out really good prices. Honestly, I do. Well worth, if you're a reseller, it's well worth the, um, well worth it, you know, for sure. All right. So my next little guy that I found is a super cute amber and sterling silver pendant. It has 925. I have tested it and processed it let me show you if it'll show up on here it glows super yellow super super yellow it's not huge but it's real amber and real sterling silver let me get you a measurement on it from the top of the bale so it's a little over from the top of the bale to the very bottom a little over an inch maybe an inch and a quarter this one I'll be selling today for $18. And it's a beautiful little um, nice piece of amber. So in comparison to my tore up fingernail there, that's about how big it is. And it's gorgeous. Let me show you the back side of it. Hi, Buttercup. How are you? Thank you for stopping by. Do appreciate it. I have a jewelry haul that I shopped at. Let's see, I went to two estate sales. 
And these are my findings here. Sterling silver. Um, really cute bale. It has like a little design on it. Super, super cute. And you know what? We can do a sale on this one. I can do $15 on this cute little pendant. And that's that's a reasonable price for sterling and amber. So let me see if I can get a close up of it. Very nice piece of amber. Appreciate you guys stopping by. And um, yeah, just found a whole array of different pieces. Okay, and. Let me see this one. Doing good, doing really good. Um, just doing what I love, which means I'm happy. I'm doing what I love and it makes me happy to look at all this jewelry. And it, it doesn't have to be gold or silver. It's nice to find it. But it's nice to find stuff that is vintage and different. That That's what I look for. I look for different. <clears throat> All right, guys, we'll do a passeroni on that one. Um, this little guy, I, I think he may be a celluloid. He is definitely vintage, maybe from the 50s. It has a weird smell. Doesn't. Doesn't the, um, the, how do you call it? Not the celluloid, the, um, what's that other material, guys, that they make the bracelets and stuff from? <clears throat> Anywho, let me show you the back. I couldn't find any of this online. See how it has a C clasp? So it's possibly from the 40s or the 50s. And it's a little terrier. And it's a brooch. And I haven't even researched this one. So let me do a little bit of research on this one. We'll do it together, guys. Let's see if I can. Okay, so. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Let me take a uh, Bakelite. That's right, Bakelite. There you go. Sounds like, looks like um, a little Scotty dog. Oh, another gender reveal. My daughter had a gender re reveal. I'm going to be a grandmother again. And she's having a boy. So congratulations to you, Monique. She's, they're very excited. And I'm going to be a grandmother again. Bakelite, that's right, Nicola. You're a smarty. Yeah, this one, let's see. Scotty Dog Brooch. I, I haven't seen too many like this. I seen one it says a jarvis scotty dog brooch from acorn and let's see what this says guys okay scotty dog yeah this is it's not made like that but let's see Let's see, let's see. Maybe 1940s. Let's see what the back looks like. Oh, thank you so much, Buttercup. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, they're very excited, and I'm excited for them. Any new child is a gift from God. And... Um, just want that baby to be healthy. That's that's all I, I like to see. All the babies growing up healthy. 
Vintage 1940s, two Scottish dogs. Hmm, that was sold. Well, <clears throat> we can do this one today. It seems like, let me show you the top of it. I don't know if the uh, Bakelite has a weird smell to it, but this one has a weird smell. And it looks like, let me show you the top of it. Do you see where my thumb is at? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. But it, look, it looks very old, this one. And I don't know if that's on purpose, but it looks like the Bakelite is kind of weird from the back there. From the front, it looks fine. So I don't know if they took two pieces and, and put it together. But anywho, I'll sell this one today for $15 on the little Scotty dog. And it's definitely vintage. Like I said, the back is with a C clasp, possibly from the 50s or the 40s. And let me show you all around, see where the where the Bakelite is at. It looks like either they glued two pieces together or I'm not sure. I don't handle too much Bakelite myself, but this guy's cute, super cute. I appreciate that, guys. Um, Somebody keeps sending me a message. Let's see who's sending the image. Da, da, da. Oh, my granddaughter is making jewelry now too. My um my eldest daughter's daughter, my granddaughter. <laughs> Anywho, she's starting to make some, some jewelry too, and they're mostly ceramic. And she has on, let's see, is it on Etsy? Etsy. And you might want to check her out. Her name, it's Panda Crafts and Things. Panda Crafts and Things on Etsy. And she makes handmade jewelry and handmade little items on there. And she's really, really talented, super talented. I sent her a whole um, big lot of, of beads and stuff so that she can make some earrings. I told her, Miha, what can you make me some earrings? And so now she's going to see what she can do with those things that I had sent her. Yeah, she's very talented and I'm so proud of her. All right, we'll go on to the next one here. I do appreciate that guys. Very nice of you, very, very nice of you. Okay, we have some beautiful vintage Aurora Borealis AB stones, and it's a little uh, cat. And this one, um, made by Warner. Okay, and on a Poshmark, they had one for sale, it was $24. But for you guys today, I'll be selling for $20. It has the maker's mark right there, Warner, W-A-R-N-E-R. -E and let's see if I can get a close-up of it, guys, for you. Right there on the cartouche. Let me send it inside the, right there. And let's see if I can get a little magnifying for you. 
It's a Warner piece, vintage, AB stones. And I'll be selling this today for $20. Very, very cute. Little kitty cat. Little kitty kitty. Crystal cat. That's what they call it. Warner makes some really beautiful things. He makes a uh, Mostly cats, um, little insects, but this one was super, super cute. All right, guys. Beautiful piece. AB stones, vintage with the prong set. And let me flip them over. It's a cutie. That pin is sticking way out. Just a gorgeous little piece. Focus, focus, focus. All right. Now, if there is anybody that's interested, I have not three little piggies, but, well, actually three little piggies. Okay, let me show you. I stopped by this other estate sale. This lady had uh, an obsession with pigs, okay? Uh, she loved her pigs, boy. She had stuffed animals, piggy banks, jewelry of pigs, everything else. <clears throat> Let me get you a weight on this particular piece here. There are two charms. Okay, the first charm is, let's see. Okay, is this not going to work right now? Ugh. Let's see if we can get this scale to work. No? All right. Okay, the scale doesn't want to work, so let me see if my son can put a battery in it. Apparently, it doesn't want to work. Okay, I turned it off. Let's turn it back on. Okay, we start it over again. This one is 7 grams. And let me show you what I'm talking about. This guy, this little piggy, this little piggy is... Now it's saying eight grams. Okay. And this big piggy is 15 grams. Okay. So eight and 15. Okay. So that gives you a weight on those. Now, you'll also have a choice. I have this amazing piggy here. Now, let me show you him because he. when I seen him, I was like, oh, my goodness. This is beautiful. Now, mind you, after the fact, after I purchased him, um... I saw that he had a little damaged ear, but the 
he's super heavy and look at this stone look at this stone guys and this little piggy is the biggest of all here okay let me darken up the picture a bit and let you look at him maybe i should lighten it up here that's what he looks like he is all stone do i know exactly what type of stone it is no but he does have some band like some matrix matrixing through him through the portion of his backside and all the way down the tail all the way up into here and then when i got him home i noticed the issue with the ear but they had glued it back on and it's still a gorgeous piece look at look at this stone here guys he is super heavy and i'll have to sell him at a discounted price as is for twenty dollars because i know on the shipping is going to be crazy heavy but that's him and so that's my story of the three piggies here so we have this guy that's what did i say 18 grams and then these are my three little piggies so he'll be 20 dollars this little stone piggy this bigger piggy because of his weight and his girth it's not a solid piece guys it's a i mean it's not a hollow piece it's a solid piece so he's very hefty what was his weight again let me sh let me put this here so you can see yeah he was 14 14 grams this guy beautiful sterling silver pig hefty 14 grams i'll do 25 on him today i mean i i never seen such a heavy piece So he'll be 25 and and we can do 12 on this guy but there's a di big difference on the weight guys this is like almost like a baby pig versus grown mama piggy right there so we can do 12 on him and we'll do 25 on this guy here and 20 for the um stone pig okay so let me know if there's any interest anybody loves the pigs i know i love my pigs just some beautiful beautiful pieces i didn't i didn't even know this was going to be real sterling silver i just seen it i liked it i picked it out he's just super gorgeous and there's the bottom and there's the other side and there's his little face. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Do you know anybody that loves pigs? Because these guys are for sale today. This particular piece is super, super heavy. When I say super heavy, thank you so much, Kelly. I appreciate that. This guy is super heavy, but beautiful banding in the stone, whatever this stone is, quartz or whatever it is. 
The only problem, he's got a little bum ear that they uh, glued back on, but he's still gorgeous. And heavy, 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 heavy. And let me get you a measurement on this guy. Look at look at all the uh, matrixing and the stone. Is that how you call it, matrixing? Or anywho, let me give you a measurement from snout to tail. It's like ten inches, or to the back of his legs, it's like ten ten inches. And then on the the uh, width, maybe about three to three and a half inches. Okay. Onyx, yeah, that's what I was thinking. But some beautiful, beautiful coloring in the onyx. I mean, I thought it was, I thought it was gorgeous. He got a little bum ear, I think. Uh, his mate may have bitten off his ear but they glued it back on it's on there but yeah he's gorgeous and super heavy so if you guys know anybody that goes gaga over the little piggies i have a live pig i have live pigs so you wouldn't have to feed this one and i think it weighs let me let me weigh this guy Give me a second, guys. I'll let you look at these other little charms. But thank you for coming out. Yes, piggy charms, too. <laughs> I went to an estate sale. This lady went gaga over pigs. She had everything on pigs. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Okay, guys, this is four pounds exactly okay let me take it off and redo it yes now it's four pounds on the dot four pound pig here so he's a hefty one four pounds guys very very beautiful pig okay so on this charm here it's twelve dollars sterling silver if you want me to test it i'll be more than happy to twelve dollars on this guy oops am i not centered here properly <laughs> yes i know right and then this one is 25 because it's hefty it's solid they are not hollow and they have been cleaned and tested and processed and given a little shine all right kelly you like that piggy on this one this one is 25. he's heavy girl He's heavy. Let me let me show you the the scale. If you weren't watching, uh, he's heavy. So let me turn it back on first. It usually helps to have something on there. Fourteen grams. Fourteen grams. <clears throat> <laughs> he sold, yeah. Yeah. Just a beautiful, chunky piece and just, just a gorgeous piece. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let me write that up for you, Kelly. But yeah, I went to an amazing, amazing estate sale. Let me write that up for you. I appreciate that. Miss Kelly. For Mr. Piggy. All right. I appreciate that. And let me put one name in for the grand drawing, okay? Give me one second. I'll get a separate envelope for that. All right. And I appreciate
appreciate you, anybody coming out to see me. It's uh, very refreshing, and I love what I do, guys. I love that's why I keep doing it at least once a week because I love to bring you guys amazing deals and show you what's out there, you know. That's what I do. Thank you, Callie. He's heavy. He's a little, he's a little oink oink. <laughs> well, he's kind of big oink oink. And then let me put um, <clears throat> your name in for the drawing. Miss Callie. Unknown. For Piggy. At 25. Okay, Miss Kelly, your name's going to go in for the drawing here. Hi, strangers. How are you? All right, let's fold that up. Okay. And my grand prize today is not sponsored by YouTube. Neither will be the... The, this one is uh, anybody that purchased for me will they'll have a name put in here and then I'll be having a second drawing as well for just a prize for coming in to um, to my auction so I appreciate that all right guys this was an amazing brooch I found it has a certain quality it is not signed i know it's vintage for sure but it is a very um let me get a close-up of the petals on the brooch it's almost like a silky color i am doing fine thank you my daughter had a gender reveal today she uh my second daughter is pregnant on her second child and it's going to be a baby boy. And I had no clue that they can do that now. It old school way, you just wait nine months and you find out. But she is going to be a mother of a baby boy. I believe in March or May. Maybe March. But that's when she's due. Yeah, she's doing really well. I'm doing well. All the farm is doing great. And this was a in this one this particular brooch. What attracted me to it is it's not signed, but it is a very beautiful, almost a silk like. Yay! Boys are coming by. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate that. Yeah, I wish the best for every one of my children that are having children because it's just blessing and heaven sent any child born. And I'm excited. I really am. Thank you. Hello, strangers. Thank you so much. Yeah. But this one was really cute. And I looked for a signature or anything on the back. There was none. But it's a gorgeous piece, and the and the petals on the flower look almost like a silky color. So I don't know how that's done, um, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful brooch. Very well detailed, um, almost like a velvety looking. Boys are hard to come by. Sorry, Miss Bell. <laughs> yeah. No worries. Was, yeah, satin finish. There you go. Almost like a satin finish, right, Kelly? It, just a gorgeous piece. I'll sell this today for $4. This little rose. Gorgeous, gorgeous satin finish. There you go. And let me get you a measurement on it. It is a brooch. And thank you, Kelly. And it stands about maybe a total of two and a half inches tall. And the flower is maybe one and a half wide. 
from petal to petal, you know, just a beautiful, very satiny looking silky flower, flower brooch. Yeah. Yes, it possibly, I don't know if, if you look at the back, it's just that type of closure, you know, the little security closure. And, um, and it works okay. And it has this old style rivet. And then it goes back in there and the locking mechanism works well. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, guys. Okay, you ready for this? I know almost everybody drives, right? Everybody drives. And I want you guys to check out these bells. Now, these are called guardian bells, okay? And I'll read you the history of the guardian bell. <clears throat> and let me lay out first all the guardian bells I have. The first one is a hummingbird with a flower. Possibility, strangers. It, might, it very well may be an old vintage Avon rose. Second one I have is a little ladybug. Okay. Now, the third one I have, this one is going to go to Mrs. Jewelry Nurse. This one is an RN, so that's going to Miss Jewelry Nurse. And the third one I have here is a little fairy. Okay, it's a little fairy girl. And the fourth one I have is a little kitty cat. Okay, now let me read you the history of the guardian bell. Hi, Diane. How are you? I'm going to be a grandmother yet again. And it's a baby boy. The gender reveal was this morning. But how are you? Okay. Legend has it that evil road spirits have been latching themselves on to motorcycles and vehicles for as long as there have been bikes on the road and cars on the road. These evil road spirits are responsible for mechanical problems and bad luck along a journey. Legend goes on to say that by attaching a small bell onto your bike, the evil road spirits will become trapped inside the bell where the constant ringing drives them insane, making them lose their grip until they fall to the ground. Even wonder where potholes come from. Legend also has it that the mystery of the guardian bell carries twice as much power when it has purchased by a friend or loved one and given as a gift show someone how much you care and offer them defense against the evil road spirits give a guardian bell and share the legend of good luck it offers to motorcycles and its riders i have one on my car yes right thank you so much diane she's excited so I have one of these on the back of my car. It's a scorpion because I'm Scorpio. This one is a kitty cat and they're all functioning bells. And there's a little spot on the back of your car where you can hang one. There's the kitty cat. Okay, this one is a functioning bell. And it's a hummingbird. A hummingbird with the flower. That's my second one. 
My third one is a ladybug. It is a functioning bell, this one as well. It's a little ladybug. And another one is a little fairy. And let me put this down really quickly so you can read about it. Cat Bell. Uh, yeah. So today I'll be selling whichever one you guys want will be one one uh one price for thirteen dollars you can buy them online for 12.99 that comes the same price i'm not making any money off of it really um but they are made in usa and you hang this either on the back of your motorcycle. I don't know. Maybe there might be somebody that rides a motorcycle or your car. I have, like I said, I have one on the back of my car. And yeah, you can buy them either here or online for $13. And... Let me back it off for you so you can see it and read it for a second. Thank you, Diane. They're $13, guys. So um, if you guys, and it comes with a beautiful little velveteen satchel. And it, each one of them has the um, the story of the guardian bell. Yes, online though, twelve ninety nine. Same company and everything. I'm just charging thirteen dollars. Same price. Comes just like that. You can take a screenshot of that, and they they charge twelve ninety nine. Thirteen by two, Kelly. I know yours are all sold. Okay, thank you. Count thirteen by two. Oh, okay. So you want? So Miss Kelly, you want? Let's see. Who was first? Nicola. Oh, so thirteen dollars. Somebody put in. Uh, okay, I think Nicola was first on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me go back on the chat, guys. Kelly, I know I would like Ladybug and Hummingbird, please. Uh, um, I see here on the chat, um, Diane Pat said, hi, Kelly and hello, strangers, and all in the chat. Uh, then she said, oh, Laura, baby boy, that is great. Then it goes, Kelly, I would like the Ladybug and Hummingbird. Okay, so Miss Callie, Miss Callie would like the, I'm just taking whoever I seen first, guys. So Miss Callie came in and she said she wanted the ladybug and hummingbird. So ladybug and hummingbird. And ladies, I can get all any kind that you can think of that you don't see here today, I can get for you. Just make a suggestion. Okay, so first one was Ladybug and Hummingbird from Cali. Okay, so Miss Cali. That's the first one that I see in the chat, guys. So, ladybug and hummingbird. Okay, here's the hummy. And the ladybug, right, Callie? Okay, both of these will go to 
Miss Kelly. Thank you, Miss Kelly. And I'll go to the next person in line. Just don't worry, guys, because I have access to a lot of them. Okay. So that's for Miss Kelly. Let me put that in a separate bag, okay, Kelly? And then I have to enter you for the also the uh, giveaway. So let me write that up for you, okay? I highly suggest you guys hang one of these from your car or your motorcycle or your bicycle or whatever you travel on. Whatever it is, it might be a tricycle. I don't know. I don't judge. <laughs> okay, Miss Callie, I have you for the ladybug and the hummingbird. And let me put your name inside uh, with that bag and put your name inside for the drawing. Miss Callie, the hummingbird. And the lady. Okay, I got you for that one, Miss Kelly. Thank you so much. Yeah, I highly suggest anybody and everybody to hang one. There's for Kelly. Let me look to see who was next. Okay, Miss Nicola was for the kitty cat. For the kitty cat one. And then it has a little sly Siamese cat, it looks like, on the back. Look at her eyes, boy. Like, back off. Back off. Okay. So, Miss Nicola. Hold on, hold on, Diane. The fairy, too? Okay. Miss Nicola, fairy, too. So, Miss Nicola wants the cat miss diane um they are if you take let me hold this for you they are online and they charge 12.99 i'm charging 13. so just take a screenshot of this diane but you let me know of which one you want and i can get it anyone you want so say if you want uh, an angel or you want a kitty cat, a hummingbird, your, uh, your sign, it depends which, you know, what you want. So you tell me, okay, I like this, this, and this, and I'll work diligently to, uh, get it for you. And keep in mind, these are beautiful gifts for a loved one too. It's a guardian bell guys. I believe highly in it. Okay, so Miss Nicola wants a cat and the fairy. Okay. Let me put those away for you. And I will put, give me a second, guys. Let me put the packaging in there okay let me write that up for you okay thirteen by two and yours are are all sold and tell me like i said diane tell me what you like and i will most uh, definitely get it for you the lady where i got these she lives in another city and uh it's maybe 30 minutes away from me so you put in an order i'll have it to you pronto okay thank you nicola i appreciate that so your next one on the ferry has the lady right there with her wings. And like I said, they're all functioning bells.
And you have a little spot on the back of your car where you can hang it. I have one. Mine's a Scorpio. Okay. There you go on that one. And your kitty cat. Looks like a Siamese kitty cat. All right. And they're made in USA, guys. Well made. Well, well made stuff. And let me put your little guardian bell paperwork back in the satchel. Yes, let me know, lady. And let me put your name for the grand drawing. And you have the cat bell and the um, fairy, fairy bell. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate that. All right. There goes the names. And let me get your little... Put these up for you, okay? Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. And the beautiful gift... For somebody that rides or you want to put it on your car, like I said, I have one on my car. And shh, don't tell. Don't tell jewelry nurse. Don't tell jewelry nurse, okay? Don't tell her. <laughs> shh. All right. All right, guys. Let's go on to the next little deal. Um, appreciate all you guys buying those out. I thought they were just gorgeous. Um, I'm glad you guys did too. All right, guys. I have this beautiful, I believe it's a celluloid. It is a Masonic case. And <clears throat> it is Masonic tools made out of celluloid. Celluloid or Bakelite? Let me see. Um, I know it's Masonic, though. Let me go right here. And I'll show you a picture of what they have online on it. Okay. So... Okay, where did you go? And let me take this picture. I had it earlier. I did the research on it. I had no clue what this was, guys. And... Let me just hold it up real quick one more time. Mm. And now I'm having a hard time finding it again. New comments. Okay. Well, hello, strangers. Wow. I know, right? This is, I had the information on it. Now I lost it, guys. It is a vintage Masonic seven-piece miniature tool set, okay? Now, the material, there's one similar to it for $42 online. And it's very important that it comes with the original box. 
And this one is a seven piece celluloid mini, they're miniatures. Okay. So um, the one that it shows online here, the case is not as nice. It's like a um, little bit rusted out. Um, lucite and celluloid. I, I don't know really the difference, but that's the description of this one that it has here. Um, and it's a Freemasonry 1950s um, tool, kind of like a miniature tool set that has seven pieces. I'll be selling this online. It's $42, something similar to this. Yes. Yes. And it comes in this sort of box. It is old, guys, with this little closure. And it's like a greenish color. There's the closure. And let me give you a measurement. And like I said, it's a, it's a miniature tool set. If somebody's into collecting this sort of stuff, I thought it was pretty neat. So it's like all, a little a hair over four inches by two and a quarter by one, almost one and a quarter on the, the height. And they list online for like $42. Today I'll be selling it for $25. And it has one of the, it looks like kind of like an architect, architectural type of uh, set. But it is a miniature. It has the kind of like a yardstick. Oh, really? Well, for $25, Diane, you can have it. There you go. It is yours, Miss Diane. It is yours. And let me put this in this way. And it has like a purple velveteen um right here almost like a royal blue velveteen and they're all in excellent condition this is like the little how you call it treble type of deal where you spread the cement this is one of those t deals when you're measuring for corners you got it diane thank you so much this looks like one of those old school hammers He's a grand whatever they call it. He does much charity in the yes, yes. I know when my my husband's brother came um to this country when he was 15 years old, he needed a severe surgery done. Shriners had helped him, completely paid for all the surgery, did gave him a prosthetic arm, did reconstruction surgery on his on his skull. Just amazing, the Freemason and the Shriners, what they do for the children alone is just beyond what, you know, for the children, it's for the kids. So I highly have respect for, oh, are you crying? Oh, now you want to make me cry. <laughs> I cry easily. I get emotional in my old age. Hold on. Hold on. Now you're making me cry. <laughs> well, I'm I'm happy that you're happy. That's you know, that makes me happy. It, I'll go above and beyond. See, people don't understand the younger I think I don't know. Some, you know, there are some of the younger generation that get it, but, oh, oh, now you're making me cry. Now you're making me cry. Oh, wow. Well, I'm so happy that you're happy because I try my best, guys. I really do. I go out and I hunt 
diligently, I will, you know, go above and beyond to try to make somebody happy. And really, I have a good heart. And anybody that knows me, I will give you the shirt off my back as long as I wasn't standing in the snow naked. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, at least you still get to see him. And that one is sold to Miss Diane. God bless you. My goodness. I knew there was something special about this particular piece because um, when I saw it, I seen it out of the corner of my eye and I was just, they open up the floodgates of the estate sale. And I just started picking boom, 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 going back and forth with my hands. And some lady was just standing there, look at me. She goes, oh, you must really know what you're looking for, huh? And um, I said, oh, yes. <laughs> And I, I wasn't, I wasn't holding back, you know, I'm not going to hold back with something that I see that I know you guys will love. All right, Miss Diane, that is yours. Enjoy. Uh, yes, and it's all for the kids and it's nothing weird. You know what I'm saying? They're just a hundred percent for the children. A St. Jude, uh, uh, Masonic, the Shriners, all those people I just have the highest respect for because they don't ask anything in return. There's no gimmicks. There's no frills. They genuinely help the children. Just amazing group of pe different uh, organizations that I very, very, very res much respect. Masonic set. Thank you, Diane. I appreciate that. And I will put that in a lovely bag for you and set it aside. It is vintage, so I don't want to scuff up too much. I mean, it has its little marks. I mean, it's old, but it's in it's in good condition. Thank you so much, Diane. Yes, yeah, Shriners. Boy, they really they really did an amazing job too with uh my brother-in-law's surgery. They took so many, they did so many graphs and um, they basically reconstructed his skull. So these people have skill and my sister's retired, she involuntary in British right now. Yes, yes. And he received that surgery in downtown. I know they're all over the place, but this one was particularly in downtown LA amazing group of people amazing doctors when i say amazing also another good one is for the children women's and children's hospital in downtown la when my son was hit by a car when he was 13 years old they did the i mean the the surgeon dr hoffman just was amazing amazing some people are just so dedicated and really love and have compassion and passion of what they do. So yes, I truly agree, Diane. Let me set that aside for you. Put your name in for the grand drawing. Now I gotta wipe away my tears. <laughs> yes, that's a beautiful thing, you know, to be able to go into the community and do that. All right, you are in for the grand drawing, the sonic set. And let me put your name into here. I know, right? I I held back the tears when my daughter had that that gender reveal today, but now I'm like, all oh, the babies. <laughs> I'm so emotional now. <laughs> That'll be my sixth grandchild. So I'm just, uh, I'm really happy. Let me show you this, guys. This is an art. Look at, look at the package that it came in. It's all beat up and everything. But guess what? The brooch is an amazing. This is an artisan piece. Okay, let me get you a close-up of this. The workmanship and the beauty of this black, white, and red color. And let me know if you can see it well. 
this is bamboo or some sort of wicker that somebody made this brooch. They twisted it and they manipulated it. And it's just, for me, I can sit and look at it for like 15 minutes because it's just so beautiful. And let me show you the back. It is a little brooch, but it's made with some sort of bamboo or wicker. I thought it was gorgeous. The color combinations of the silver streak running through and the red and the black. And this one today I'll be selling for $10. It's a beautiful artisan piece. Yes, Diane. Happy tears. I'm, I'm, I have all happy tears for sure. For sure, for sure. But you know what, Diane, I, I really do highly respect those people. You There has to be something in the blood where it's just compassionate towards children at that level. And I just, I have the utmost respect. And I, I just... I wish I had, you know, a lottery that I could be able to share because I would build more hospitals for children. I would donate to a children's hospital. Anything for the children is just, I'm on board for that. So if I'm blessed, for sure the children will be blessed. They'll, they'll get a huge donation from me because I myself, have five children going on my sixth grandchild. But if I were in the position to be able to donate and to do more, like my plate is full right now, but if in my latter on, you know, later on in my life, that would be some, an interesting thing to do to go volunteer. If I come across a, you know, if I hit the lottery, I would love to donate a grip of money for those people that help you know, my brother-in-law that helped my son, you know, um, just some amazing people. I agree. I agree. 100%. But this one was super neat. I thought it was special. And it's just a little artisan piece that somebody probably sat for eight hours and bent it and painted it and everything else some other special little piece guys and let me put it back on it had it came in that little box let me put it back in there all right let's go on to our next one now this came in this box it says george and martha design westmoreland sterling it has its original box george and martha i have not even looked this up yet i know i processed it i know that um i open up the box and i didn't even know it was in it at First, I just seen it was sterling. Then I opened up the little vintage box. I said, oh, okay, two sterling spoons. And then I took them out and then flipped them over. And they are brooches. So there are two sterling brooches here. Now let's, let's, it, and it says two spoons on the box and then the maker's name, George and Martha. So let me put these down here and put this here. And I've never seen anything like them, but I'm going to research them like right now. Let's see. Let's see what I can come up with, guys. 
Okay. They are sterling brooches. Okay. This one shows $104 for one. Let's see what they look like here on Etsy. 1900 antique sterling brooch, very original, authentic antique jewelry, silver, lovely brooch from France. Mm, I don't know if that's the same. Let's see if they have any more pictures. Yep. I wonder if they have a, mm, no, that one was from France. And it looked. Uh, let me see if I can take a picture of this box because I have no clue on this one guys honestly I didn't even do the research on this but it's George and Martha design okay no Hmm. Uh, it just says Westmoreland Sterling. Okay, let's go here. I've never heard of this Sterling company before. We'll find out together, guys. Westmoreland Sterling Brooch. Oh, salt spoon label lapel pin. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what Etsy's selling it as. So apparently there's there were salt spoons. And Georgia Martha pattern flatware two and a half inch point eight grams vintage jewelry. One of them is for $32, one. So if you go to, um, let's see, Etsy, one of these, so it says it's two and a half inches long. Let's find out, guys. Let's find out. So, so we have two and a half inches long, and it says... 0.8 grams let's let's figure this out because it's showing online without a box let's see let's see if it has a box nope and what does it say on the back there okay let's find out let's get a loop Let's loop it, guys. Let's loop it. It says Westmoreland Sterling. Westmoreland Sterling. Okay. And like I said, they are brooches. For one, for one is $32. Okay. On Etsy, $32. Today I'll do both of them with the original boxing for $50, okay? One of them prices at $32. Today I'll do both with the original box for $50. Georgia Martha Design Westmoreland, Westmoreland Sterling, okay? And they're two brooches, lapel brooches. Sterling silver dies. And I think they're like little salt spoons back when they used to just dip the salt. But they are sterling silver. They're two and a half inches long. And they're lapel pins. 
So two for fifty dollars, guys. Knock off ten dollars. Almost ten. Well, sixty for fourteen dollars a knock off. Okay. So let me know, guys. Two beautiful sterling silver. And let me get you a weight on that. Let me get you a weight. Okay. Sorry for the noise, guys. I make noise. Okay, on the grams, it's nine grams. Very vintage pieces. Yes, Diane, for sure. For sure. Okay. So let me know, guys. $50 on this one with the original box. Yeah, it ta it really takes special people, Diane. <clears throat> Very special people to do all that work because um and the kids need you know special people around them i have this cute little pen it is one of those tremble pens uh, uh brooches but he's a little kitty cat and he's gold tone and it's one of those tremble brooches so what I mean by that is the kitty cat turns his head like this and like this and like he kitty 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 and the kitty turns his head like that. Beautiful little sparkly green eyes. And let me see on him. Yeah, I, I looked him up last night. He was considered a trembler brooch. Let me see him. And thank you guys for coming out. I do appreciate it. And I can do this little guy for $10. They have one. Let me see. Hold on one second. Wow. Diamond and emerald brooch. Huh. Let me check the eyes on that, guys, because they have they do have some really nice gemstone eyes. I don't know if it's a rhinestone or real gemstone. Let me check with the presidium. Because when I get these out of the estate sale, God only knows Tiffany has one similar to this. Let me see. Um, guys, I think it might be some sort of stone. Let me check it out here. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Let's go up a bit. So it's back down towards the glass, and I'm pressing on the green eye, and it's going up to the center of emerald nephrite these very well may, may be some emerald eyes on here guys let me let me show you again let me turn around the presidium has to be sitting flat so that's what i know now it's in the glass area i'm pressing those green stones that are in the eye Okay, see how it goes back down? 
Pressing the green stone. Pressing the green stone. Did it go off? Pressing the green Oops. Okay, maybe it's not sitting properly. It has to be flat when it's reading. No, no, it's not doing nothing. Now, if I press it on the metal, it's not making any noise. Wonder. No. Let me calibrate it, guys. Calibrate this. Okay, let me try again. Now it's not moving, so it must have been off. I'm glad I recalibrated. No, so they're just glass eyes. Cute brooch. It's considered like the trembler brooch. Yeah, these, these, uh, you have to recalibrate often on those. So $10 for this little kitty cat, if anybody's interested. And let me show you the back. Okay. Has the little closure. And the little rivet right there, which is making the head go back and forth. As long as it doesn't spin, so it'll be a possessed cat. <laughs> yeah. So he's a cute kitty. And we can do a... Little cloisonne deal here. Let me find the other one. For anybody that's in the house that loves the cloisonne, let me try to find the other one. Where did you go? Where did you go? All right. Poison A, poison A, here you are, there you are. Okay, guys. I have some beautiful, beautiful poison A. Now, this one has a little butterfly. And let me see if I can get a close up on both of these little guys. One is on a little cord, which. I don't really like the cords. I'd rather have them like on a gold tone chain. But it is what it is, and I'll sell it just like that. So one is a little flower with a butterfly. And it's a blue color. It seemed to be like the butterfly is going to the lily pad flower. And then on the other side, it's basically like the same thing. And this one is beautiful too. It looks like some sort of orchid or I'm not sure, but it looks beautiful. It looks like the humming the what the hummingbird eats out of those flowers that they stick stick their beak down into. Very beautiful. And it would be choice today of five dollars. Choice of five dollars. Let me get you a little measurement. They're a little bit bigger than an inch. Maybe about an inch and a quarter-ish. And this one is a little round guy. So we can go maybe about an inch on that little cloisonne set. Choice of. Okay. Let's 
And let me move on to the next one if there's no interest on this one. You have to be collecting the cloisonade. I know that there's some people that collect the heck out of it. Now, who doesn't love... Tell me what this guy looks like. Do you want to eat this chocolate bunny or what? I thought, I found this. I was like, is that real chocolate? You know the Cadbury bunny? Looks exactly like it. So sweet. But then it's made of some sort of, uh, I don't know if it's clay or wood. I'm not sure. A very simple pen. But it looks like the Cadbury Bunny. Chocolatey goodness. This totally reminds me of spring and Easter. And this little guy I'll be selling today for $5 too. Let me get you a measurement, guys. It's just a Cadbury bunny. He stands about like two and a quarter. And then maybe about from tail to nose, about two inches. So sweet. I... I love this one. This reminds me of one of my grandchildren dressing up in the pink frilly dress at Easter and then having that little pin right there. Maybe <laughs> If I don't sell it, then I'm going to pin it on her, sell it to her so she can put it on her uh, pink frilly dress, you know. It's so cute. I really fell in love with it when I found it. So here you go hopping away. All right, so my next find was a beautiful, I sold a pair of earrings like this, and I know it's a 1928. So let's find out what this is together. I know it's a little brooch, gold tone, and let me see real quick. I can tell you what it is right here, right now. Let's see. And it seems to be like a porcelain rose. And let's see. It is a filigree 1928 gold tone ivory porcelain. Yes. So, yeah. I can sell this little guy today for $5. If anybody is interested, let me show you the back and give you a measurement. It's like a little a hair over an inch. It's a beautiful little gold tone brooch, 1928. And let me show you the back side. It is functioning. And that's the closure. Oh, yeah, I sent Doug when Doug bought a beautiful uh, lot of um, vintage stuff for me. And I think I'm going to be too, too bright because the porcelain on it is a very pale pink. But all the petals are there. And they're very beautiful. Okay, guys, $5 for this one, 1928 style. 1928, they don't mark their jewelry. It just, you can tell. Okay. These now, I know what you guys think of that it may be an opal but this one is like a dragon's breath and it's a miracle brooch okay and let me get your price on that one 
All right, now the ones that, let's see. Oh boy. Miracle brooches, wow. 32. And to me, it looks like a foil that's behind a, the glass, like a dragon's breath. It does have the uh, miracle brooch right there on the little cartouche at the very bottom. And let me lighten it up. And it says miracle. Okay. Right there. Miracle brooch. Don't we all need a miracle? And it's most likely glass that's an inlay around here with like a Celtic knot around each side. To me, it looks like one of those. Um, I know it's like a Celtic symbol, but to me, it looks like one of those fighting stars. And here it shows one of the miracle brooches is going, the real antique one, with a Mexican fire opal from Jerusalem. That one's very antique, though, for $300. This one is not as antique as that one. Let's find something similar, guys. And I'm not sure. To me, it looked like foil underneath glass. That's what it looks like to me. Let me look. Yeah. So this one I can sell today for $15. Yeah, it's like a metal and a glass. It's almost like a foil that's underneath there. And this is a half price because there's one similar to it that's an opal-like with one of the Dragon's Breath style that's for $32. And I can sell it today for $15 if anybody would like it. That's the front. And here is the back. And it is marked. It is a signed piece. And it is signed right here. Right there at the bottom, guys. Okay. Let's see what else I found. All right. Is there anybody in the house that likes antique coin bracelets? Some of these coins that are on here are antique, okay? So, this top one, I'll read off all the different dates that are on these coins, okay? So, I'll read off the dates that are on this top bracelet first, okay? I tested them last night, but the silver on it was kind of floaty on the 18 karat. And so I'm not going to, they might be a plated. I don't know. They're a very old coin, guys. They're old coins, okay? I believe they might be from Great Britain. So the first date on this particular coin is... 1912 and it's um has great britain on it the king 
of Great Britain and D, it says D, uh, G Britain um, who's the king in here Oh, this one's pretty worn. It's from 1912. So the next one I have, uh, this one looks a little bit better. George V. George V. S. V. D. G. Britain. The next coin. There's seven coins on each one, guys. So these are three pence. This is the three pence from Great Britain. This one is 1911. Next coin on here, another Great Britain coin. The next one is from 1912. Um, so what would make it 100 years old? 1910, 1911? This one is 1921, three pence. This one is also King George with a three pence on 1912. And the fifth coin here is the same King George. And this one is a 1916. And this one is another King George on the sixth coin, 1919. And yet the very last coin on this particular bracelet is from 1913 or 18. I cannot see it. 18. Yeah, 1918. So earlier... I guess you can call them Victorian. Okay. Um, the length on these are. Um, they are. From clasp. Okay, let me stretch it out. Seven inches. So from the end of here to the end over here, they stretch out to be almost about seven inches. And I guess you can call them um, Victorian, Victorian era, and they're antiques. Okay, and this one is probably like another seven. You can always tell the older pieces are very much smaller. Now, I told you all the dates from this one. Now I'm going to tell you all the dates. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Let me, um, they're seven inches long. Hello, strangers. And I'll tell you now on this next bracelet. They are three pence Great Britain bracelets. Now this next one, I'll tell you all the dates on them. This is 1922. This is 1920. So we got 2220. 22. Twenty. 22, so they're oscillating 21, so it goes 20, 22, 20, 22, 20, now 1921. Then we have 1918. And 1920 again. This one appears to have older coins on it, this top one. So let's do a little, little researcher here. 
I found a few prices on it last night. Um, but these have early 20s and these are, you know, let me go to the site here. Um, and let me get you some prices here. Okay, so antique sterling silver, Columbia hammering, no, that's not it. British coins, sterling silver bracelet, $260. Let's see how many coins they have on it. And are they a three pence? Let's look. Let's look, guys. Uh, 260 well, it looks different. And I'll show unbranded. Let's see. British three pence coin bracelet, eight coins. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins. This looks to be a similar piece, but these are from the 1930s. These are from the early 18, what was that, 19, 18 on one of them? So let's see. Hmm. That sold. Three pence with eight coin. And it's King George from Great Britain. And seven inches long. Give me a second, guys, because um, give me a second. Okay, now there's one similar on Etsy where it shows from 1916, 1920, 1929. Um, it shows only one available for $89. Okay, today I will sell this individually choice of $75 each. So it would, sorry, I missed the dates on the coins. Okay, so let me do the top one again for you, Miss Diane. And um, if, if you want me to read out the dates again, because these are, this is an earlier dates on here. These are the latter part. So I guess you can call them Victorian and they're antique. So the bottom one have like in the 20s, but let me read you, there's some earlier dates on this particular one, okay? Okay, so on the first one, the first coin is reading 19, either 13 or 18. Second coin is 1919. Third coin on this one, is 1916. Um, next one is a 1912. Next one is 1921. 
So this kind of has an array from 1911, 1912, 1921, another 1912, and we have yet another one. 1911 and the very last coin on the top one is it's either nine or 1912 so these are earlier dates so it'd be choice of 75 dollars on etsy there's 89 dollars for one so choice of 75 dollars here and now today only of some beautiful rare i can i guess i can call it what would make it let's see if it is i believe from 19 one of these coins is antique let's put it that way because to call it antique it has to be at least a hundred years or more old and so let's ask what would make something antique how many years what year would it be Uh, let's see. Right, Diane? Is it more? That's more. I I know I'm. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Uh, let's see. Okay, so if we so nineteen twenty two, that makes these antique. Anything before 1922. So, yes. Some of these coins on here are before 1922, which makes them antique. And you would have a choice of $75 on either one. Okay. So let me get a close-up on them. For you guys so you guys can really see them they're three pence king george coin bracelets and yes it is antique so let me know guys today only most likely i'll probably list these and i think that's correct yes 1922 okay so if we take 2022 we're in 2022 let's see so 2022 minus 100 equals what 1922 so yes these are considered some of these coins on here are before 1922 so they can be considered as antique okay so let me know guys and I shall move on. Say goodbye to King George. Anything made before 1918 is considered antique. Well, what's 100 years before 1918? It's whatever is 100 years old. So if you add what? Okay, so the oldest coin on here is 1911. okay got it let's see yeah anything uh, yeah so it's if it was if it was made in 1911 that means it's 111 years old okay and then anything that's vintage is more than 20 years old. Awesome. All right, say goodbye to King George. He's leaving on his, uh, on horseback. Okay. All right, this next brooch I thought was beautiful too. It's just a little, little vintage job. It, It's a beautiful golden flower with, beautiful layers let me show you the side yes awesome beautiful layers on it 
it has like one, two, three, four layers. And then these flowers make it the fifth layer. And let me show you the back. Beautiful, beautiful brooch here, guys. Gold tone. Looks like they sp sprinkled the little gold paint right there in the center for some pizzazz. Yes, thank you, strangers. So this one is an awesome piece. I love it. And I'm going to sell it today for $10 if anybody has any interest. Let me get you a measurement. So from leaf to leaf, it's like three inches long from each tip of the leaf here. And then on the height, it's like almost two inches. Okay. Seventies, yeah. So if we we're born any time before the seventies, we're just like we're just we're old. We're vintage we're past vintage. We're between antique and vintage. <laughs> All right, guys. And here I have I don't know what type of flower this is. This to me it looks like a carnation. Or uh Corinthus. I forgot the name of that flower, but it's just one of those puffy flowers. And then this one is a, yet another Shriners little pin. And it has the Shriners emblem right down inside, or the, the uh, Masonic. I'm not sure if it's a Shriners or Masonic. It's a gold tone brooch that's shaped like a flower with this little dangle thing. But what is that, Masonic or Shriner? I'm not sure, but it's like a bent horn. It looks to, with the star in the center. I don't know if I can get that close up. Let me hold it properly. Let me pull it away a little bit. You see it right there, guys? Right there. But it is a pen, and it's in the shape of a golden flower. I'm not sure what type of flower it is. And then here's the back. It may have... Yeah, that's where that little thing is attached that's inside the petal. And let's see if I can. Very beautiful little flower. It's gorgeous and amazing and beautiful indeed. This one was cute, too. It doesn't have any signature on it or anything, but, oh, wait a minute. Maybe it does, no. This one was super cute. I thought it was cute, guys. Have the curved sword thing. Yes, that's what it had in it. This one is super cute. It's a gold tone. Little, uh, how you call it, those scallop shell or... And then it has the little fishy hanging off of it. I thought this was pretty neat. I think that's what it is, Diane. But it had the little scallop shell with a nice little fishy hanging off the back. And let me show you the back. It's another gold tone. I don't know who the maker is, but it, I thought it was cute. And you can wear it like that, and you can wear it like that. So cute, so cute. This one happens to be... Mm 
This one is a Crown Trafari. Let me show you the next one. Beautiful Crown Trafari brooch. I really like this one. Um, because to me, it looks like the ocean. And then with all the texture around it in the silver tone, I thought it was gorgeous. It reminds me of like the rip curl in the ocean. And let me get you a measurement on it. It is a crown safari. It's like two inches by, we'll say one and three quarters. That's the front. And then it has the crown safari right there behind the pin on the cartouche. And it's silver tone and it is lovely and I'll be selling it today for $8. Like, I want to be right there underneath the wave, right there when I'm at the ocean. I don't swim anymore in the ocean. I'm not strong enough. But when you do, when I remember swimming in the ocean, that's the place you want to be, right in the center, right before. You don't want to be here. I'll tell you what, you don't want to be here where the wave crashes down because you're going to get beat up in the sand. <laughs> you're going to get beat up in the sand. You'll jump up and you'll have like two pounds of sand everywhere on you. But yeah, you want to be right here, right before the wave hits or right here inside the tube. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is that. Now I have these lovely, lovely... Um, I do come across an amazing amount of clip-on earrings, but these were kind of special because I found them first. You're welcome. And number two, um, I never seen this maker's mark. So let's find out together, guys. They are clip-ons, and they have um, a signature... <clears throat> Let me see. They have a signature on them, and I will find right now. I know they're made in France. That's one thing I do know. They are made in France. Mon chéri, Allah. Let's see. Okay. So these are it, they're gold tone. And let me look with the loop here on one of them. Let me see if I can turn one around. You have like a baguette style stone or gemstone right there. <clears throat> this one doesn't say anything. I might have to look at the other one. Gold tone clip-ons, very artsy style looking. And this one has something on it. It says, it says something. Okay. Something PNM Perry. Let's see. Let me turn on my light here. P and M Paris. Let's look them up, guys. P and M Paris. Okay, let me see if I can find a little clippy that I can put it on for you. So, this is what they look like. And they have excellent, excellent, uh, they'll hold on to your ears. You just need to get those little, um, little pads so, so they won't dig into your ear okay this is what they look like and what did i say p and m paris trying to curve yes let's see um let's see p and 
M Paris Open Open. All right, guys, let's let's see what we found here. PNM Paris Dangle Drive of the blah, 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 blah. PNM Perry Perry Moncherry. Okay. Let's see what something similar is going for here. So we have a brooch and clip on earrings. So apparently it is a brand, PM Paris clip ons. Okay. Let's see. First time I've heard of this brand, guys. First time for me. So bear with me, I'm just doing a little research. Okay. So let's see. Let's find out together. No, there's nothing that really is taking a picture similar. Maybe I have to turn them turn them around this way. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's find out, guys, together. They are some classy looking earrings. That's for sure. They be some classy looking earrings. I wonder if that stone, is it open on the back? Let me see. No, there's no opening on the back. Let me find out. Let me research it, guys. So, it is a brand. It's called PM Paris. And they're more of the, um, there's a lot listed on Etsy here. Let's find out. Um, okay. They make a lot of brooches. And they plate a lot of their jewelry with gold. It shows a 1970s gold plated <clears throat> gold plated little frog a gold plated cat um so it may very well be this may be gold plated let's look under Okay, PNM Paris clip on earrings, gold plated. Um, these are from the 1970s, what I can see from here. And just a faux pearl type of. Um, oh, wow. Okay, um, these are just a. Uh, gold plated from the 70s uh, one listing shows a pair from the 1970s with what appears to be a faux pearl 
is going for $141.10. I may have to research these guys. They are some quality clip-on earrings with a baguette style stone or rectangular stone. I don't know if you call I always get it confused with emerald, <clears throat> excuse me, emerald cut or baguette. But I'm pretty sure it's like a baguette style cut. And I might I may have to research these a little bit more, guys. And I have not tested these, so they might be a gold plating. Uh, there's a pair with on Etsy that are selling for $141. They are from Paris. So let me do a little research on these, guys. Let me do a little research on these. They're gorgeous, gorgeous earrings. Very classy looking earrings. All the stones are there, and they're just really um, beautiful earrings. Let me do a little bit of research on that, guys. This guy is so cute, the little kitty kitty. I have another little kitty kitty. Super cute kitty cat. All right, let's find out on this little cute little kitty cat okay okay no you cannot see the kitty cat cute little kitty cat let me get you a close-up it has like those little baby stones on it. it makes it real shiny it is a boat And I could sell this little guy today. Let's see. One similar has little whiskers. And I can sell this little guy today for $8. And let me show you the back. All the stones are there. This is not a sign piece. But he's gorgeous. There's the back. And I'm not sure why he may have, there is a, um, a hole right here for this stone right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test that stone for his little nose. Let's do a tester on that guy because there is a little hole in the back, a little breather hole. So let's do a tester on him and his little nose. Okay, this is not ready to glass, so. Okay. Let's test out the nose. Okay, we know the metal thing is working that when you hit the metal okay that appears only to be glass guys but like i said there is a little opening right there between his either it's either his nose or his forehead so it's not reading as anything, so I'm just going to say that it's glass, but I'll sell him today for $8. And let me give you a measurement. It's a silver tone. And it's a inch and a quarter by almost an oh, at an inch. He's a cutie pie, guys. He's a cutie. And let's see. I have this other pair here. Oh, I'll put the light in my eye. 
This one is another pair of Crown Trafari earrings. So let's just put both of these together. Yeah, that's a Crown Trafari set that would look good together. So I'm sure that would be possibly worn together. And the, I'm pretty sure that was a Crown Trafari, right? Yes. That's a nice little set. And the earrings are crowned for far too. Very comfortable. I like this style clip on. I don't know what they call it, but it's very comfortable and smooth. And this is the front of them, the, like the little wave once again. And I would sell this set for ten dollars if there's any interest okay both of them are crown trafari guys and gals this guy is super cute this is another i believe it may be wood or some sort of plastic and made it to look like it's like a cherry wood but look at this. That was from the same estate, guys. Just a little collectible, little piggy. Not sure if it's wood or that, um, or that plastic, how you call it, acrylic stuff. Little piggy. And I can do four dollars on him. Let me put him to the side so you can kind of see him. And let me get you a measurement on him. It's like one and a half by one, one and a half by one tall. Yes, little Wilbur. I'm looking for. Uh, Charlotte the spider now. <laughs> A lot of detail on this. He was super cute. I had to have him. I love little figurines like that. They're so cute. This was pretty too. This little guy that I found. Just like one of those scatter brooches. Oh, little Wilbur. Yeah. How much did I say, Diane? Four dollars. All right, sold to Miss Diane for four dollars. He's cute. He has a lot of detail on him. Look at the look at the face. And I don't know the there's like a skin. If you if you've been around hogs, you know to look for like certain detailing on the artwork or whatever it may be. And there's like little skin in between the forehead and the snout. And it has that on here. It's very detailed. I thought it was very cute. Awesome. That goes to Miss Diane. Thank you. He's super cute. I'll have to send you a picture of Taxi, Diane. Taxi is my, I think he's like 300 plus pounds. He's my male breeder. Uh, Mr. Wilbur. At four. Okay. To Miss Diane. And let me put Mr. Wilbur in a little baggie because I don't want nothing to happen to him because he is too cute. He's so cute. Oh, you you did the voice characters? Oh, you do voice character. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> All right. Thank you, Miss Diane. Wilbur is coming to you. Little cutie pie. He is super cute. Thank you, Diane. And let me put you in for the drawing. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. And one of your the names for the drawing, Miss Diane. For Mr. Wilbur. At four dollars. Okay. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. Shake, shake, shake. Da -da 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 -da. Shake your. Shake your. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thank you so much, Diane. Okay, this is like, this reminds me of like a snowflake. Um, it kind of sets like this. It is one of those scatter pins, I guess you can call it. But it is dainty. It is vintage. And there's the closure right there. And we close it up. But the stone in the center is very beautiful. And I think it has like some sort of enameling right there. But there is some sort of crystal in there. It's beautiful in its petite. And it's lovely. It would look lovely on a winter sweater. And let me see if I can change the lighting on that. It just looks, uh, it's looking a little bit weird. There it is. But it's very pretty. And it's prong set, that stone right in the center, it's prong set. And it's like a winter green, like a pine green, dark pine green. And I would sell this booty. Charlotte Dye was a, we all bald. Yes. Yes. I know, right? It was so emotional. It was emotional. Emotional damage. Yes, I agree. I know, right? All right, guys, let me look at this for you. I think there's somebody at my gate. So I'll have to look outside for one second. I'll let you guys look at this little cutie pie and this little cutie pie. And it's foxy. Well, the clouds are moving in. It looks like they're about to rain outside. This guy's super cute, little foxy guy. Let me get you the back, the way the back looks. It doesn't appear to be signed at all. 
super cute little uh kind of look reminds me of like a porcupine but it is a little fox and let me test those eyes because it looks like ruby eyes but i don't know doesn't have anything open from the back i know that doesn't necessarily mean anything but let me get this straight let's see here all right I don't know if you can see the presidium. Is it moving, guys? Is it on? It's not even on. Hello. Helps to turn something on, right? We'll wait till this goes solid. Sorry about my nails, guys. They were all chipped off. I filed them down, but I cleaned them out. But they just they need some TLC. Just been with the animals this morning. Okay, so I let me hit the metal. To see if it goes haywire first. Okay, I put the probe on the metal. Why is it not? Let me calibrate again, guys. It's going haywire with the heat. Okay. Why is this not? Hold on, guys. Mm -mm. Somehow this is not setting right. No, I think these are just glass eyes. Hmm. Let me reset this again, guys. Make sure this is plugged in properly. The battery on it might be going low. When I have it hooked up to the um, power outlet, then it has... Uh, Okay. Mm. I may have to take out the batteries and it appears that the eyes are just glass and I believe the batteries are going haywire on that. But anywho, I can sell this little guy for $4 if anybody is interested. little lot here oh Darcy I love you girl thank you for stopping by oh that's all we need is more love I you know and I do appreciate that I really do that's why I, I just it's amazing that you know the love from this community I mean, there has been a few bumps in the road, but my, um, hold on.
I mean, the love in this community is just unbelievable. And I do appreciate any support, anybody that stopped by. I really do appreciate it. It doesn't matter you buy something from me or not. It, honestly, it doesn't. I do what my passion is. And my passion in this part of my life is my jewelry and a few hard goods, you know, here and there. But my passion is the jewelry. And I love to go out and hunt for the different pieces. And thank you so much, Darcy, for stopping by. You really do. I do appreciate you. Really do. I appreciate that. So this little lot here, I can do... If you want all four pieces, somebody give me $12 for all four pieces and I'll sell it to you. It'll put me a couple of gallons of gas in my, in my gas tank to go for my next venture. So anybody that would love these four little brooches, $12 for the frock, fox, the kitty cat, the 1928 and the little uh, snowflake with a little uh, some sort of pronged it's it's vintage some sort of little prong stone right there in the center might be a crystal so if anybody has any interest on that little lot let me know and I shall move on <laughs> All right, guys, this one was the next one that I had found. Let me show you. It's a cute little wallet. It is not perfect. It is not brand new, but I really loved the artwork that's on it. I really love the artwork that's on it. Like I said, it's not in perfect, perfect condition, but let me show it to you. I think you'll enjoy it. I enjoyed the scenery that it has. I enjoyed the scenery that it has. Okay. So. This is the front of it, and it's a little wallet, so it's like, it doesn't have any brand name or an, anything on it, but the wallet is seven and a half by four, and it opens like this. So if you fold this little tab down and you open it here, it opens like this. Okay, there's some little smoosh thing right there, but it has nothing to do with the functioning of the wallet. And there's like a little tiny smoosh right there where you put the coins. But I will want to put something in it that's very special. Okay, something that will be a surprise and it is going to be what happened to let me look for it now because i had the idea where did you go where did you go and where did you go okay um, let me look for it, guys. I was going to put something very special inside of it. And I'm not sure what I did with it. <clears throat> but we can do a little bit of jade, a little bit of onyx. And a little bit of carnelian. 
So, I am going to put two necklaces. Let's make it three if I can find the first necklace has turquoise, carnelian, and it is on wire. Second has uh, the second compartment has a piece of purple jade with onyx. Okay, and let me find my other. Um, let's see if I can find it here, guys. I had another special necklace that I was going to put in there, but now I can't find it. But let me look for it, and I shall find it. Okay? I'm looking for a particular necklace. And this is going to be... This is going to be a mystery wallet with three pieces of jewelry in it. And it's going to be well worth it, guys, because one is a jade, one is a carnelian with turquoise chip. Another one will be a sterling silver and carnelian piece with um, sterling silver chain with a Chinese symbol stating uh, health and happiness. I'm not going to show it to you. It's going to be a mystery wallet. Like I said, you will get Carnelian and Hishi uh, beads with turquoise chips. You will get a quartz heart and uh, jade necklace. And then the third one will be sterling silver with Carnelian and health and happiness symbol $25 guys starting bid so there are three items that one is jade and onyx hearts another one is carnelian beads with turquoise chip necklace and another one is the symbol with a on top of a piece of carnelian of health and happiness in asian writing so if anybody would like to start a bid on this one and you'll get the wallet included starting bid would be 25 dollars. okay and it's well over 25 dollars. okay we have a 35 dollar bid from diane And did I show you guys the other side of it? I think it may be a similar. Okay, three necklaces, guys. One is with jade and um, onyx. Another one is with the carnelian and turquoise chips with the he, she on wire. And the third one is the well worth, it's a piece of carnelian, sterling silver chain with the Asian writing on it. Okay, $25 starting bid, guys. $25 starting bid. Thank you, Diane. This is an amazing deal, guys. Well worth over $25. Believe me. Anybody else want to come in for that, guys? Three necklaces and the wallet.
three necklaces and the wallet, guys. Well worth it. Well worth it, I'm telling you. Way well worth it. I am telling you so much that it is above. Starting bid 25, guys. Let's give it a few minutes for you guys to make a decision because it is beautiful now. We're talking jade. We're talking carnelian. We're talking turquoise chips on a wire with uh, carnelian beads. And the third necklace is a piece of slab of carnelian with Asian writing on it. Come on, guys. Does it spark your interest? It's a beautiful, beautiful wallet. I just like the artistry on it, even if it, it may, may be, uh, I don't know if it's hand painted. I'm not sure. I know that it's not super new. There's a few scuffs on it, but I like the scene on it. Any other interest, guys? 25. Going once. Now's your chance. Diane's going to get it. She's going to be lucky lady today. Lucky lady. Going twice. Fair warning, guys. And sold to Miss Diane, the lucky lady. You're going to love it, Diane. I'm telling you, it's a heck of a deal. Probably double what you paid for it, hon. So I'm happy that you got it. Awesome. Congratulations, Miss Diane, Pat. 25. For the wallet. Thank you, Miss Diane Pat. Could have gone to a better person. I appreciate you. Let me put you in for the grand drawing. Right, Tessa? She got a good deal, huh? Awesome deal on that. Awesome, awesome deal. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. Okay, let's put your name in for the grand drawing. Miss Diane Pat. All right, for the wallet. And the three surprise necklaces that are on the inside. Merci beaucoup, Miss Mike Diane. Miss Diane. Thank you, thank you. All my chickens are cackling. I wonder if somebody got inside the chicken coop. The other day I was feeding them. And they all started screaming all at once. And I looked up. It was a huge hawk. And he was ready to come down. Oh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> I couldn't bid because Nana was going to spank my <laughs> <laughs> Well, we don't want you to get beat up. <laughs> no spankings here. Only, only good love. Good love. <laughs> All right. Now. Now is a wowza. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful pearl necklace. I found this one at the... <laughs> well, hey, Teresa. <laughs> I found this beautiful, beautiful necklace at the estate sale. Okay? It is a quality piece. They are real pearls. Okay? Let me show it to you and let me maybe get it on. 
and show you the clasp right there. It is a sterling clasp. Let me show it to you. It should pop up there. Right there, it shows sterling. We'll flip it over. It does have a safety clasp here. Right there. Okay. It does have one of these box, I don't know how you call it, box clasp. And that's the way it goes. And it closes right there. Now let me get you a measurement. This is a dual strand, guys. Dual strand. Okay. Very quality piece. Um, all the pearls on it are a very lustrous color. Okay. And it runs about 18 inches long. Okay. And like I said, it is a... Let me look in between. It shows that it's double knotted on the in between center. Okay, the ones that are here are double knotted. This is closest to the clasp. Double knotted, double knotted. This one, I can't tell. This one, it may have gone from double knot to single. You see how they're close together? So tired of spotty connection. Grr. I know, right? It's very frustrating. I feel you, Kelly. I feel you 100%. It's because the some spots are 100 plus degrees and it's just, it's the weather is just so out of control. But let me put this one on a bust for you so you can see the amazing pearls on it. They really, it, it's like a graduated smaller into bigger here. And they are gritty. Not so much as, it may, I'm not sure if it is a cultured pearl. I don't have an x-ray machine, so I can't say. Because usually you have to x-ray them, but they're not as gritty as freshwater. Okay, and I'm going to hang this, since it's a decorative closure, I'm going to hang it like this, so you guys, oh, well, let me hang it like this, hold on guys, my hand is not working right. All right, let me open it again. Hold on, guys. And I shut it so the clasp is holding it. Okay. So here it is. And <clears throat> the sterling closure. Beautiful pearls. Classy piece. Okay, why are you not behaving for me? Okay, guys. So, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful pearls. And let me show you how the back looks. Okay. Like I said, do they glow under black light? Let me check. Let me turn off this light. So that's how you determine it, right? Uh, yeah, they're kind of glowing. What is like a super kind of yellowish white? Too hot to behave. <laughs> I'm serious. You can you can be sitting there and just sweat, right? <laughs> Callie, I know what you're saying. 
I know 100% what you're, yeah, they're like this luminous kind of yellow, white, bright. Let me, let me see if I can move the camera close enough for you guys to see. I turned off my lights and now I'm putting the, they, they kind of, they glow. I don't know how to hold the light to even, they kind of glow. So I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but I know they're beautiful and they, uh, Kelly for reals, Lori's too hot. For, I know, I know Kelly. My sons were like, can you take us to the lake? I'm like, I am not sitting in the sun or the shade in the heat. I need to be in front of a fan. Yeah. So I don't know what color they're supposed to be shining, but they are a brilliant, super white uh, glow. And they're very, um, how would you say it? Whoever picked them, they're very well, like, there's only one that I see that's kind of not like a hundred percent round because i know that you have to look for how how the pearls are a certain color and a certain luster i know i'm too close okay let's go back up sorry for the noise guys but i know you're supposed to look for a certain um a certain luster on them i know kelly it's horrible. I don't know what's wrong with the environment. It's just, it's craziness because um, it is. Um, yeah, but like I was saying on these, they have a luster on them that is just gorgeous. And I, it says that it's sterling on the safety, but I just love this this safety right here and it has no name and it, all it says is sterling so i have not tested that i want to test that in front of you guys so that um we can show you that but they're gorgeous these were the one that i picked out of the like i said up here is double knotted doubled and it seems to be going into a single so it goes one, two, three, four down into, uh, doesn't seem to be double tied in between right there. Just it goes one, two, three, four down, double tied. One, two, three, four down, double tied. And let me test, let me find my stone. Let me test this um, clasp. It says that it's sterling, but, you know, uh, Things sometimes say they're sterling, and then I get a different reading. Where is my stone now? All right, let's look here. Not there. Let's look here. Not there. Not there. Here it is. Okay, let's check this out. Let's see if this one is sterling. I've gotten myself into trouble a couple of times just thinking that something is sterling and it's not. Just a tiny little scratch, guys. Okay. All right. 18K. So it's turning blue, but it's kind of, yeah, it's turning blue. So that's sterling, right? Yeah. <coughs> You're still in the new glowing pearl category. <laughs> Excuse me. I know if they're cultured pearls, really, they need to be x-rayed. That's what I heard. To see, I'm not even sure myself. I'm not an expert. 
but that's what I've heard. But these here today, I can sell this double strand for $65. And they're very quality. I can, you know, I've had a, quite a few um, sets in my hands. Hi, Joyce. Welcome. Everybody's welcome here. It's all love and happiness and doing what we love is just looking at this beautiful jewelry and welcome everybody's welcome here it's very an inclusive channel that's why i love roberta and i love cindy because those ladies they're awesome people they really are oh you know what would look beautiful with that is this ring right right guys this would be an awesome set this okay, both of these $65, guys. I'm telling you, this is an awesome deal here today. These are real pearls. These are sterling silver with a safety clasp. 18 inch long double strand with a sterling silver and a pearl inside of a ring. How, what other kind of deal can you work out here? $65, guys. You can't get that any other place. I'm telling you, that's an amazing deal here, today, now. That's it. Um, the ring, the pearls are 18 inches long. The ring is setting at, uh, I would say a hair over a six and a quarter. I mean, a six and three quarters. Let me show you on the manual. Oops. Sorry, guys. So six and three quarters is the ring. All right. Six and three quarters is the ring. We have a sterling silver clasp dual strand on the um, necklace. And it's an amazing deal. I've never seen anything like this on this. Diane likes it. You got it, lady. Oh, awesome. That's a heck of a match right there. I think it looks beautiful together. I think it looks gorgeous. Awesome. Congratulations, Diane. I'll write that up for you, okay? Yeah, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful set. Good price. Let me put that back into this beautiful, amazing box. Okay, where did the... I'm going to do a quick... Um, I'm going to take off some of this lint. Gosh, the velveteen gets so much lint on it. Amazing buy, Diane. You're getting so many goodies today at such a great price. I want to shop with myself. <laughs> yeah, these are well over 100 bucks. They have to be these, these pearls. But I run into so many pearls, guys. I hit that jewelry table and I just start picking like a wild crow. And um, that's what I do. I hunt and I gather. Yes, ma'am. You got it, lady. You got some amazing taste. Absolutely amazing taste. A lady with class. For sure. Beautiful deal, guys. Beautiful, amazing deals here at Laura's channel, Tichuba Treasures. Everybody's welcome. And I appreciate you all. So, this is the box that it's coming in, Diane. And this is your set. And it looks like it's a weird color. Let me uh, 
tone it down a bit. My goodness. Beautiful set, Diane. Congratulations. That's an awesome pearl, too. That's in there. That's a classy set. I'm telling you right now, when you get these, you'll be like, wow. She really did that, huh? She really did that. Let me raise up this camera. And look at my face. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. I really do appreciate that. Beautiful set, guys. And it's sold, sold, sold to Miss Diane. Thank you so much. Awesome piece. Miss Diane. Pearl necklace and ring. 65. Appreciate that. Awesomeness. Lovely deal, my darling. Lovely. It makes me want to run and go hustle some more stuff up. But this one I woke up extra early for. Only for you guys. Merci beaucoup. Let me put it in your envelope. Put in another yet another envelope just to keep it safe. And Miss Diane is um, this one is for Miss Diane. Get some awesome stuff today, Diane. Awesomeness. I'm serious. One name for the grand prize. Miss Diane. The pearls. Ring and necklace. Mm -hmm. 65. I like to write exactly what you purchased on that so that when I enter your name into the um, the jar, that when I pull it, I'll say, oh, you remember when you bought this? And also, I can refer back to uh, purchases. If any at any time I lose any paperwork or anything, I can always refer back to these little guys here. Thank you so much. Awesome. Shake, 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 da, 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 da. All right, guys. Let's go on to our next piece. And um, let's see here. Um, how many of you guys? Let's see. This one, I believe, may be 14 karat. Let me look at my loop. Where did I put my loopy loop? No, it's not there. No, it's... Where did I put my loop now? Oh, goodness. Don't tell me I lost my loop. Okay, what did I do with it? Did I set it there? Did I set it here? I may have dropped it. No. My goodness. When you go looking for something, then you can't see it. Okay. Let me put down some things here. This may be a certain. I'm not sure. Because I have misplaced my loot. Now that's going to drive me. A little loco. Oh, no, here it is. A little loco. Not too loco, but a little loco. Let me check this one out, guys, and I'll let you guys look at this. The miracle. The miracle. All right. Let's see 
see. Yeah, this is a this is a sterling. I'm not sure what else it says. S D C J D J Sterling. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's a little um pendant. And it's a little maple leaf with a vermeil. Okay. A maple leaf vermeil sterling silver pendant. Do you have throw in a small or stud earrings for multiple piercings? Of course, my dear. Do you want for the uh, just with gemstone in it, semi precious? Uh, what what is it that you're looking for? Thank you, Diana. I appreciate that. Let me um, before my power went out the other day. I had um, some earrings I was going through. And let me see how many studs I have. I have this couple pair here. They are sterling silver and they're, um, one is pink and one seems to be like a burgundy-ish color, square cut, kind of like a table cut flat, square table flat on the top. You're talking about like these type of studs or just solid sterling studs? I'm not sure. Let's see if I have any more. No, no. Um, no. I have these. Mm. Studs. I have amethyst studs. These are cute. These are just plain Jane, but they're little amethyst studs. Sterling silver. Um, let's see. You're going to hear a lot of noise, guys. I make a lot of noise. I tend to make a lot of noise. And I, that's because I go searching. I do apologize, but <laughs> let's see. No, those are not studs. Uh, those are not studs, no, no, no studs, those are clippies, those are not studs, these are not studs, no, no, and no, oh, these are, they, all of them have stone, Gemstones or yes, ma'am, with gemstones or stones. Okay, so we're gonna do these. We're gonna take this one off. We're gonna do these. Choice of on these three. Choice of let's say okay. I'll do a special today. Choice of ten dollars. You want these. These are these. If you want them all three, $30. If you want one, it's 10 bucks. These are all stones. So let me back off the camera. Sorry, guys. So these are amethyst. These are some sort of pink stone. I think they registered on the Presidium. And these are uh, light powder. These are not even focusing. Let me see if I can get my light to shine on it a little bit better. Okay. So this is an amethyst and they're studs 
and they're pierced. Those are ten dollars. These are studs. You get two pairs now. Okay. These are like a little dark burgundy cup. Let me see. Hold on. Like a dark burgundy, I think. Not sure, but they're pink and the other ones are either a dark burgundy. I'm not sure. I can't see that well. Else. Okay. So. And then you have these that are like a powder, not a powder, powder blue, like a gray blue. So these are the three pairs that I have, $10 each. Or if you want, these are 25 Because those are those chromium diopside and they're big. Okay. And let me get the Presidium for you, and I'll show you. Hopefully, it'll act right. Um, let, me, uh, let me put you guys on mute for a second, because I have to get some more batteries. Okay, so you want this one for $10. Okay, just to let you know, the backs, they do not have the sterling. I put these plastic ones. This one had some sort of... Um, okay. These ones have some sort of um, silver tone backing, but I put them like this. Okay, okay, Callie. So you get two pairs on these for the $10, and then you wanted the powder blue ones, right? $20. That's a great deal. And Mrs. Callie wants the chromium. Okay. And let me see if my Presidium will act proper. But I think he needs more more batteries. Because he hasn't been acting good. Or she. Okay, I'm waiting for it to heat up. And we'll see what he or she does. It. See what it does. Okay, still blinking. Still blinking. Oh. Still blinking. Ready. Okay, so I'm putting that on here. Watch the gauge, guys. It's going up. So you know that's a gemstone there. Um, on these. Let me go the other ones. These may very well be glass, but they are sterling silver. I know I remember I tested the silver on it. So let me get it again, press it on the stone. It's going up slightly out of glass. So who knows what it is, but the pink ones are staying in glass. Okay, and then these guys, they're definitely sterling and, and let me see. They're going up into tourmaline garnet. Let me put the camera around this one. Barely up out of glass. Tourmaline. Tourmaline, iolite, and garnet. All right, let me turn it off and on once again. And give me a second, guys. I'm going to get some new batteries, okay? If I plug it into the wall, it cannot reach over here. So let me get some new batteries, and I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back, guys. I had to get, and I have the Energizer batteries with the, uh, give me one second, guys. Because when the battery goes low, it starts acting haywire. And it won't give me a proper reading. And these are the expensive rechargeables, too. Sorry, guys. Let's see if these are charged. They go through so many batteries playing the controllers. Okay. Okay, let's see if it's juiced up now. Oh, no. No. Well, that's not working. Uh -uh. I'll be right back again, guys. Give me a second. Give me one second. Okay, let's see what this one does now. Sorry, guys. Let's see what it pops up to now. Okay, it's still heating up. Okay. So, let's get these guys. Okay, it's going up into tourmaline. Yes. Now it's going back into glass. Down, down, down. And when I press this, where is it going? Is it going up, guys? Yeah, it's going up into the tourmaline, guys. So, yeah, um, Callie, you said you wanted those. All right, no worries. I know that they are sterling silver. I did test these. This is what type of backs it comes with. And they're the push uh, post. And let me show you. Well, I don't know if you'd be able to see it. Let me see with my loopy loop. Yes, it says they are of quality stuff. They're a signed piece, S-T-A-U-E-R. Quality piece, guys. Stour. They're well above $25 for sure. <coughs> All right, let me write those up for you guys. Thank you for your patience. I hate dealing with batteries and stuff. Those need to be charged up. And I shouldn't put that on that scale. It might have a magnet in it to mess the precision. Let me set this over here for right now. All right, Miss Darcy, you want these? I'm sorry, that these were the two that you wanted, correct? That's why I have my own backs. Thank you. Okay, no worries. Let me write those up for you. $20 on those. Thank you, ma'am. Here's my pen. All right. This is Darcy. $20 for the pink pair and this looks to be like a, 
burgundy. Burgundy stud studs twenty dollars. Do appreciate you. And there those are. Let me put them into an envelope and I'll start you a larger envelope so that we can stay organized. I try to stay organized, guys. I really do. So those are yours, Darcy. And let me put your name in for the grand drawing. Grand drawing, two stud earrings. $20. Thank you, madame. And your name goes here. All right. Thank you so much. There you go. And let me start your bigger envelope for you. So I can stay organized. <laughs> okay. And then for Miss Kelly, we shall do these guys. This is Kelly. No worries. The green stone. I'm pretty sure they're the chromium. Uh, not a hundred percent, but I'm I'm pretty sure that the maker is a very uh, good maker on these Kelly. Believe me, very beautiful, and they're signed on the back of them of the not where the post itself not where the stick itself but right here and let me see if i can show it to you mm. okay, it'll focus in. do you see where it's signed kelly Hold on one second. Let me lower the camera. Sorry for the noise, guys. And they are signed. Right you see the signature on them, Kelly? S T A U E R. Just look them up. I'm not holding it straight, am I? S T A U E R. Quality, quality ones. I have to say. Congratulations. Let me put it on the card. Those were another pair. I'm pretty sure they are too. Yep, thanks a lot. <clears throat> these ones, when I received them, I couldn't. I couldn't even see what color the stone was. These were pretty. They were pretty crazy, and I had to process them. And yeah, came out very beautiful. Enjoy. 25 for Miss Kelly. You got it. Big stones, too. And let me put you in for Miss Kelly for the grand prize. And 25 for the green stone earrings. All right. You got it, lady. Thank you so much for your purchases, guys makes me it encourages me to go back out and just hustle up some more stuff honestly there you go thank you so much miss kelly these will go into an envelope and then into your bigger envelope thank you i appreciate you all right this is kelly kelly Go to Miss Callie, Miss Callie. All right. Here we have Mrs. Kelly here. Appreciate you. All right. So now to show you 
what I have left is it may be the rest of it is let's see I may have already gone through um, the rest of everything um, I can do a brooch lot if you would like me to i can do a brooch lot are there any hi Teresa. do you still have the large carnelian heart do i still have the large carnelian heart mm, i don't think so i don't think so dear okay so <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I have this amazing um if if there's any special request. Yes, I know the one that you're talking about. No, I I believe I had sold that. I may have sold that. Okay, I am willing to go down on price on this particular piece. It is a quality Jasper piece, but uh, it's a Bars Jasper piece. And let me show you on the little bust I have. It's beautiful. And if you like the earthy tones, and if you like Bars, this particular one I'd be able to lower on price for you. Like I said, it is a bars. And um, these are picture jaspers on wire and it does have a bars um, hang tag on it. I can do a $40 buy it now on this particular piece. And let me show you the hand tag hang tag right there that is bars 925 all right that one right there And that would be a buy it now of forty dollars, guys. Let me back away the camera. On that. Beautiful, beautiful picture, Jasper. Um, you can't find that type of bars anywhere for forty. And um, I'm going to be doing a. An amber lot. Okay, let me show you what I have collected thus far on amber. All right. Okay. So nobody has interest on the bars. I shall move on. Okay. Now, we have some amber here, guys. Okay. We got one necklace. We got two necklaces. Number two. We have, I had some more here. I don't know what happened to it. I am looking. I am looking diligently. I just saw it. I just saw it. I just saw it. I just saw it. I just saw it somewhere here. 
I just saw this. I just, here it is. Okay, you hear me digging? That means I'm coming out with some stuff. With some stuff. With some stuff, some amazing stuff, okay? All right. Okay, this is more of like a cognac. Those are like a kind of honey color. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start off these three. Put some more light on it. They're all amber. Okay. And let me see if I can lighten it up. I'm not sure if you can see that well. Okay. All amber. All of them are glowing. These are glowing like a yellow. This one is glowing like a yellow color. All of them have inclusions. I would start a bid on this lot at $100. Okay. This one is chunky. This one is like thick. So on the thickness on this particular piece, you can resell this stuff here. Let me get you a measurement of this piece right here. So this piece, uh, it's almost a half an inch on thickness, okay? On the length, it is almost one inch. Okay, this one, just the amber alone is an inch and a quarter. And then the height of it is almost a half an inch on the thickness. Amazing balls deals. Yes, it is. It It's, and look at this necklace. Let me show you the chain that I have it on. It's an Italian chain. The chain is a ball chain, but the chain is approximately 24 inches long. I can get $24 easily just for the ball chain that's Italian made, okay? Now, all right. This one comes on another Italian chain. Let me make sure this is what I'm saying it is here. This one is yet 925 Italy, another Italian box chain. This one is approximately a lobster claw closure, 18 inches long. No, that has to be weighted in that. Let me see. Okay, this particular chain. Yeah, 18 inches long for a box chain. Okay, another long sterling silver Italian chain. Then we have, I believe this one may be 16 inches. Let me double check. But this one's a nice chain too, just because they're shorter. As long as they're sturdy, I can't wear super, super thin chains. I know there's some people that prefer it because it bothers them. No, this is 18 inches long too. So, if you just go by the length of the chains, I'll do it a dollar an inch. So, that's an 18-inch chain on that. So, let's add it up, guys. So, we've got, we have a total of, so, if I charge per inch, so that would be 18 plus, what did I say this one was? 18 plus 24, this is 24 inches, so I'm just adding up the chains alone, 18 plus 24 plus 18, yeah, plus 18, that's $60 alone, guys, just in chains at $1 per inch. Okay, 
So three three pieces of amber. It would be a starting bid of eighteen uh, one hundred dollars. I mean that that you can't. I mean I'm kind of giving it away. I shouldn't even be selling it like that, but. I want somebody to enjoy it and it's a nice lot and it would be a starting bid at a hundred dollars. Which necklace are you talking about, Darcy? We have a ball necklace, a small box chain, and this one I'm not gonna separate from it. Which which chain are you talking about? The one on this one, the ball chain. Yeah, $25 a piece for four pieces. That's right. I mean, you can you I mean that's that's an amazing deal, guys. Yeah, three necklaces and one pair of earrings. I mean, I shouldn't be doing that, but it is Labor Day holiday, and I want somebody to enjoy it. This one I bought from Roberta. It's a hunk of silver, okay? It's a hunker. I mean, you can hear it when I set it down. This one is a little bit, you know, but it's thick. It's like a whole teardrop of, of sweet amber. And this one I think I got from Vintage Jewels and Gems. I'll just put it in as a as a bundle. So the first one, okay, the first one from this side, or so this is number one. This is number one, number two, or number three. This one I'm not going to separate. I bought it as so number one, number two, or number three, Darcy. Which one were you looking at? Has to be either number one or number two. Uh, number two, I do have another ball um, necklace. It may be even longer than that. Let me see. No, I think it's about the same length. Let me get the, um, this is another Italian Italian necklace. It had a little charm on it. But let me see the length on this, okay? All right. So the length on the ball necklace is 24 inches long. Is that what you like? Because that's what I have. And if you want this one, I can charge you $24. It is Italian. Let me show it to you. Italy. 925 with a spring ring closure. And let me show you this one. Same thing, dear. Same thing. Do you want that one? It is 24 inches long. It has a spring ring closure. It is an Italian chain. It might be a hair smaller on the balls, but I could sell it to you for $24. It's a dollar an inch. Hell, let's make it a sale. $22. $22 and it's yours, Darcy. It's an amazing deal. It's another Italian made chain. Let me show you. Italia right there. And let me see if I can put this underneath the. Let's see if I can show you up close. Italy right there. Italy. Beautiful 22 inch. Oh, apologies. I'm more interested in the pendant. Sorry for the confusion. Hi, Sharon. How are you? 
Okay, which pendant are you speaking of? Because if I have to sell them separately, like if I do the lot, I'll start the lot off at 100. If I break them up, this one will be 45. Starting bid 45. This one will be 35, starting bid 35. And this one will be a starting bid of 48. Awesome, Sharon. I just found out I'm going to be a grandmother for the sixth time. And it's going to be a little boy, Sharon. I hope you're doing well. And thank you for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Okay, you're talking about this particular one, right? Sharon, because this one was 45. 48 for the set and 35 for this one. Oh, you're welcome, Darcy. Anytime. So Sharon has a $45 bid on this particular monstrous. I bought it for 45 without the chain. I'm throwing the chain in and it's a long chain. <clears throat> and I believe I had bought that from Roberta. And it's a beautiful piece. It's a chunky monkey. Look at the thickness of it, guys. Look at all the inclusions. I'm sure there's uh, some sort of little bug in there somewhere. I don't know. Let me look. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in there. I don't even. It looks like little flowers or dandelions or something. But I'm throwing the Italian chain in. So. It's a chunky monkey, let me tell you. I hope you're doing well. I'm just trying to get back the money that I put into it. I want other people to enjoy it now. I have so much that... Um, thank you, Sharon. Yes, awesome deal, right? So we have a starting bid with Sharon at 45. Thank you, Sharon. Is there any other interest? Anybody else want to come in on this one? I do have to do a bid style on these particular pieces because, you know, they're quality, very high quality pieces. And let me get you a close up on that. Beautiful, beautiful. I believe it was a 32 inch ball chain. Let me see. Let me double check for you, Sharon. All right, this is, no, this was a 24, 24 inch. Still amazing deal for that. Amazing deal. I can easily um, gone to market and got 65 just for the set, both of them together, but it is a holiday. All right, Miss Sharon, is it, if there isn't any other interest, I'll start calling it down. We'll get, we will go once. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Sharon. I make investments and I hustle my rear end off, Sharon, in the community. And I go to other states. I go to other cities. But even in this heat, I try my best to stay cool, get there as soon as I can in the morning time, and just stay hydrated and as soon as i go beelines for what exactly what i'm looking for i will go in twice for mrs sharon i have great stuff and i have great prices and i do appreciate everybody that comes in there's no i i love being kind with everybody but there's no judgment from any from me for anybody I try to make everybody happy and I'm just, you know, I'm just me. I'm just me. All right, guys, Sharon's going to get the deal of a century here. All right, we're going to do a fair warning for Mrs. Sharon Bolter. <clears throat> Now, 
that's why I, um, I love jewelry nurse and Cindy and uh, Roberta. I love them so much. They're such kind, good hearted, fair people. And they're my type of people. And uh, congratulations, Miss Sharon. I will write that up for you. And you can go into our grand prize drawing as well. And guys, let me, um, after I write Sharon up, let me see, what did I do with my sticky now? Here it is. Oops, sorry guys. Sticky, sticky. Sticky, sticky. Here you are. <clears throat> That's why I get these neon colors, Miss Sharon. Thank you so much. Miss Sharon Bolton. At 25. Thank you. I appreciate that. Got that nice Italian chain, that 24 inch chain. I know you'll like it. It's gorgeous. And that's going in for you. Uh, is she okay? I think my son's playing ball with her and he's, she's barking for him to throw the ball again. Okay, Miss Sharon. You will go in for the grand drawing. And that was 45 for the amber. Okay. Thank you, Madame. Let me fold up this one. All right. Thank you so much. Thumbs up for Laura. Thank you, guys. I appreciate even even if you come in and say hello. I love it. Even if you don't buy anything, I'll still love you. Even if you don't like me, I'll still love you. Because I'm a Christian woman. I try to be. <laughs> I, 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 the old Laura, you would have been like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> but life is too short. See, this is, this is what, what happens. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate you. This is what happens when you grow up as a woman. You leave all the drama and all the petty crap, excuse my French, behind. Because life is too short, ladies and gentlemen. Have fun. Have passion at what you do. If you're not doing something you like, any tiny little thing will set you off because you don't have the passion for it. If you are doing something that you love, Anything can happen and you still have the passion for it and you don't let things bother you. Really, do something that you're going to have the passion for and you will see your life change and you will love it. All right, guys, we're going to do a drawing. We are going to do, yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, Callie. We are going to do a giveaway whether you bought anything or not. It does not matter. This is not the grand drawing. This is not spot. This is not the grand drawing yet. This is not sponsored by YouTube. This is sponsored by Laura with Tichuba Treasures. And I appreciate every single one of you guys coming here today. I really do. All right, guys. I want you all to put a number from one to 50 in the chat and <clears throat> one to 50 in the chat. And I am going to ask Google or Siri or whomever that is inside that computer to give me a number from one to 50. Whoever's the closest will get a special ring as a giveaway. Okay. So, like I said, whoever is the closest will get a special ring 
put your number in from one to 50. And I don't want to show you the ring yet. Okay, one to 50, guys. So we have, I think, seven people in the chat. Let's see how many. Um, we got one, two, three, four, five. We need four more numbers, guys. Four more numbers. You're going to like this little free giveaway. It is a sterling silver piece, guys. Put your numbers in. Put your numbers in, guys. I'm telling you, you're going to love this piece that I have. Let me go see. Uh, I'll wait for all your numbers to come in. New comments. Like if, lurkers, put your... <laughs> That's okay, guys. Nova, are you okay? Uh, Richard, uh, give me a second, guys. Let me call for my son, I think. Uh, let me, I'll pull a number right now. Okay, give me a second. All right, guys, I'm back. Okay, guys. All right, you're going to love it. Do you see? Did you see a glimpse of it? Did you see a glimpse of it? You're going to love this one. It is a smaller size. But I'm not sure if you can have this size at all. But it is beautiful. And somebody will love it. Hey, Google, turn up the volume, please. It's at the highest volume. Hey, Google, give me a number between 1 and 50, please. Here's a random number, 8. Number 8. All right, guys, who's the winner here? You guys got to look back for me here. Let's see. Number 8. Darcy, number nine. We have Olga at 19. Okay. Let's see. I think it's Darcy. I think it may be Darcy, guys. What do you think, you guys? Is it Darcy? Is there anybody else in the chat that came out? Let's see. Let me go up on a... Yes, Darcy. Darcy, you're going to love this ring, honey. It is a storyteller ring. Okay? It is sterling silver, my dear. Okay? It has a story of the little butterfly with the sunshine with the turtle in the tree and then the ladybug that crawled and the froggy that probably ate him <laughs> but it is super sweet and it's sterling silver for you darcy congratulations it's very beautiful lady and i think you will love it And it's a little storyteller, and every time you wear it, you can you can think of Laura giving it to you. All right? Congratulations. I'll put that in your bag, okay? Congrats. Super cute, right? Miss Darcy. That's the giveaway. Awesome. You're lucky today, Darcy. That's good. We only live once, gals and guys. Make the best of it on a daily and 
try to bring joy to yourself, you know, if it's retail therapy, going hiking, enjoying your pets, your siblings, your family, do whichever, what you have to do to make yourself happy, because life truly is too short. Awesome. Miss Darcy is the lucky lady today. And there's your little Prince Charming. He's sitting right there up front. Right there. Right there, Darcy. Right there. All right, lady. All right, let me put this in your envelope. Yes, jewelry, pets, and friends. <laughs> Just a second, guys. Okay, guys. All right, guys. So let's um, let's do a couple more. I will do a brooch slot next, and see what we can start that off at. And then I'm going to do the grand prize. And as you know, my grand prizes are amazing and lovely and gorgeous and super super neat okay guys all right you guys will like the grand prize i think it's pretty and i might have shown it <clears throat> once before Okay, we are going to do a little brooch lot. Start me off at $10, guys, and we'll see where it goes. This is going to be a brooch lot. Okay, so we're going to do a starting bid on this brooch lot of $10. Okay, you take it where you want to go with it. $10, guys. Starting bid, $10. We've got some vintage pieces in here. We've got some pieces I've never seen. $10. Guys. Ten dollars, guys. This brooch alone is worth twenty dollars. Okay, ten dollars, guys. Vintage brooches here. We have some miracle brooches, some satiny brooches, Catterbury bunny brooches, fish in a clam, foxy, kitty cat, flower. Very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brooches. This one I, I just fell in love with, this little Cadbury bunny. This miracle brooch has the dragon's breath um, faux opal that's in the center, but it is a signed piece, and you can look it up to see what these guys go for. 
and it shows right there miracle brooch at the bottom okay this one i never seen with a satiny finish like this i never seen it like that it's very tasteful looking it's not a shiny it's a, a real tasteful looking brooch this one's the little kitty cat and if it goes to twenty dollars <throat> I shall throw in this trembler. This is a trembler brooch. And you can look it up to see what the tremblers go for. So if it goes to 20, I will throw him in right there. Another trembler brooch. And with the emerald green rhinestone eyes. Okay, I can put him in like that. And if it goes to 25, I will throw this beautiful crown trafari brooch in. It's a very vintage quality piece. And I shall put it in for 25 with the earrings, for goodness sake. If not, we can keep it at 20 and roll with that. It's good for you guys. Crap, 25. <laughs> I'm sorry, Callie. <laughs> but here it is. It's. I think it's a nice set. Because they're both crown trafari and they're amazing. Okay. 25 bucks. There you go. That paid for a little over half of my tank of gas. And I appreciate that. Let me put it together for you here. <clears throat> hey, crown trafari is an awesome brand. They're very well constructed. And they've been around forever. All right, there for $25, we have some Crown Trafari. We have a Cadbury Chocolate Bunny brooch. We have a little kitty cat rhinestone that's super cute. We have a clam and a fish. I, I've never seen a brooch like this before, but it's gold tone. All for Kelly here. We have a fox. Who want the fox sale? And that's a brooch. Okay, we have a satiny finish. Beautiful quality. Amazing rose. We have a trembler kitty cat that I threw him in there. He's got some little 3D whiskers right there. So cute, the little kitty cat. So cute. And we have that miracle brooch. Miracles can happen, guys. There's power in prayer. Beautiful miracle brooch. And another little snowflake. I told everybody this would look lovely on a, a nice white uh, sweater in the winter. Just like on your, on your um, lapel. Very beautiful green. It would match the the uh, pine trees. Beautiful layered vintage brooch that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers, including the top part there. Gold tone. That's vintage. Amazing deal, Callie. And then the earrings, uh, crown trafari to go with that other brooch, silver tone. All right. Beautiful deal, guys. Beautiful deal. All right. Let me write your name on it, Kelly. Awesome deal, guys. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Let me write that up for you. For Mrs. Kelly. On the brooch lot. 
25. Amazing. Because that uh, miracle brooch is 20, 20 plus dollars by itself, guys. Okay. Awesome. That's a half a tank of gas for my car, guys. All right. Let me put that in the bag for you and let me put you in one. <laughs> um, let's see. What you think about it? Because. Because. Um, I'm getting thirsty. This is Kelly. Okay. I like to keep everything organized, guys. And. Um, let me bring out my next piece. Thank you so much, Kelly. Um, let me see. <clears throat> let me bring these out again. These are some amazing uh, collectors series on stamps, but they're made with 18 karat plated over 925 and this one is they're like commemorative stamps this one is thailand this one is turkey and this one is shilling it might be a german schleivig holstein 1850 yes it might be a German. So German, Turkish, Thailand, commemorative, 925. I have tested these and I will go. Uh, they range in price anywhere from 35 to $48. I will charge $25 each one of them three for 75 let me get you a weight because they are plated with 18 karat and the weight will show you they are uh sterling silver underneath sorry for the noise guys so let me turn that off let me turn it off We've got, for the Thailand, we've got 10 grams. Another 9 grams. For the turkey. And another 26, uh, let's see. First, first one was 10. 10. This one was 9 grams, or 8 grams. And that's another nine grams. So twenty-seven dollar. I mean, twenty-seven grams. Let's see what that. Um, I can do this today for fifty-four dollars. Three of these commemorative stamps for fifty-four dollars. If you would like me to test them for you, I would love to test them for you. If you have any interest, like I said, this one is a thailand this one i believe is germany and this one is turkey okay total of 27 grams i can do today for 54 dollars you're welcome callie right it is a very good deal and i'll let you guys check these out for a second
All right, guys. Now, I want to thank each and every one of you, whether you bought from me or not. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming to my channel because it means a lot to me and I appreciate every single one of you and I love you guys for stopping by, okay? I love to share beautiful things. That's why I kind of do it in this style auction. I will give uh, one gift away, whether they somebody buys something or not. And then that's not sponsored by YouTube. That is sponsored by Laura. And I will put people in for the grand prize. Okay. You're welcome, Callie. I appreciate you guys. Okay. So without further ado let me pull the grand prize guys so this means i will be calling my son because i don't like to dip in for myself so let me set this here i am going to call in my son so that he can uh do the drawing okay let me call him really quick okay guys All right, guys, I'm back, and it's my son here, and he is going to do the drawing. He doesn't like to show his face, so come over here. You're not going to show your face, so you need to take the jar. You remember how to do it. Shake, 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 da 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 da, -da. Sorry, guys, I'm all... Oh, looking right looking a little bit sweaty and not so hot today okay pull one name and tell me what it says give me in the pot Sorry, i didn't understand okay okay google <laughs> not you google huh. uh thank Sorry, you son i'm deleting what i heard it oh. should be gone in a few seconds okay <laughs> what does it say you read it. Gail? No. no. Callie? Callie. Unknown. Callie Unknown. And what does she buy? I can't read your writing. Ladybug? Ladybug. And Hummingbird? The Bells. Congratulations, Callie! Congratulations! That's when you bought the Hummingbird and the Ladybug. The Bells. And guess what? Shut up, no way, oh my God. <laughs> he drew it, I didn't draw it. I just put him inside of here. <laughs> he drew it, not me. Okay, and guess what? I'm giving this away. I'm giving this away. Don't fall out of your seat, okay? Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. I'll put the camera down. Give me one second. I have to step out for one second.
Congratulations, Callie. The this part is nine two five with the stones, and these are plated um, plated necklace. It's a, a silver plated necklace, but this is a sterling silver beautiful heart with the green stone. With the green stones and it's gorgeous. Callie, do you love it? I couldn't fit a, a chain in between those loops here. So I just attached it with the lobster claw right there. I said to heck with it. You're welcome. And guess what? I think it yes, that's right. That's right. That's awesome, girl. That is so awesome. I want to thank each and every one of you guys coming out to see me. Spread the love. Spread the joy. Do what you have a passion for. Life is too short. Enjoy every day. Live life to the fullest. And I love you guys. Whether you buy from me or not, it's just about having a good time and show that you just have passion for what you do. And I love to bring you guys awesome stuff. Until next time, guys, hit the like button, hit the notification button, because I am going this next week for an amazing sale that I will bring some gorgeous stuff, I promise. Just hit those thumbs up, hit the notification bell, subscription. You're welcome, guys. I love you. Have a great holiday, Labor Day, whatever that you celebrate. And you guys have an awesome weekend. Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.